Tesla stock has cracked $735 as of this recording. What an incredible thing to see. And one company thinks it's going to $7,000. I'm going to give you my thoughts and opinion on that in just a sec. But first, cue that intro. ARK Investments conservatively predicts that Tesla is going to $7,000 by 2024. That's quite the difference from the last time they were talking about Tesla going to 6000 in the next five years. So they sped up their uh, predictions and actually increased the price points. We're going to talk about that in just a sec. But first, I want to welcome you to my channel. Hi, my name is Brad, and this is Own the Chaos. The stock market is a crazy and chaotic place, and I made it my mission to help you own it. So if you want to see more content such as this, please subscribe, hit that notification bell, and give me that awesome thumbs up for Tesla. What a mover today. And it's just unbelievable. I just talked about this on Stockwatch Sunday. If you want to go check that video out, I'll put the link up here. But uh, if you want to go check that out, people were asking me about Tesla. You know, it's reached 650. Is this the end? I strongly believe that it was not. I actually ended up holding overnight on this, made almost $15,000 just by swinging this over the weekend. Uh, unbelievable move from Tesla, and I think this is just the beginning. So ARK Investments, if you guys aren't familiar with them, I'll get to that in just a sec. What I would like to do about this projection is give you the facts, what ARK is saying about it, and then I'll give you my opinion, and then I wanna hear from you. So if you could leave me some comments down below on what you think is going on with Tesla. Do you think that uh, Tesla could potentially go to 7,000 or more, or do you think that it, the, the road is almost done for Tesla and it's time for it to come back? Back down. I really want to hear from you, whether you're bullish or bearish. I want to hear from you. I reply to all of the comments, so I definitely would appreciate your thoughts and feedback on today's video. All right, so the facts here. ARK Investment expects Tesla to reach $7,000 by 2024, and that's the baseline. That's the conservative baseline in 2024, seven thousand uh, dollars and so that is 10 times the amount where it's at right now can you believe that uh, the bull case here is so and that's their conservative so the bull case is going to be around fifteen thousand dollars by 2024 the bear case is fifteen hundred dollars now obviously this depends on a lot of things uh, that uh, could impact tesla economically you know globally whatever um, but that is what their projections are and that is why we're seeing such a sharp increase on tesla today and perhaps perhaps throughout the rest of this week. It's been an unbelievable stock. Uh, I don't even know what to say to it at this point. I was My jaw was on the floor this morning when I saw this continuing to go up. It was really unbelievable. So just to further give you facts on who is ARK, I really want to give you a perspective here just to let you know that ARK Investment is not some, you know, Joe Schmo investment company. <laughs> you know, so just to give you a little bit more validity about what they do, ARK Investments is an investment manager focused solely on disruptive innovation. Uh, Tesla fits that bill perfectly, obviously. Uh, why they feel a disruptive disruption matters. And this is directly from their website, introduction of a technology enabled product or service that it should transform economic activity by creating simplicity and accessibility while driving down costs. To quote Kathy Wood and their mission, over time, innovation will displace industry incumbents, increase efficiencies and gain majority market share. More importantly, disruptive innovation impacts and concerns all of our lives and changes the way the world works. Does that not sound like Tesla? I mean, so th this is, you know, and they invest in a lot of other companies other than Tesla. Tesla only takes up about 10% of their portfolio. I'm sure over the last couple of days, it probably has taken up uh, more than that since their most recent earnings. But that, you know, as of uh, before their earnings, it was about 10% of their portfolio consisted of Tesla stock. So we'll see, you know, when they share how much uh, has taken over their portfolio as it relates to Tesla and the increase in price per share, what that looks like. But uh, this, I mean, that just screams Tesla as far as what their mission is and what they're looking to invest in. And so as it relates to Tesla, I wanted to give you, you know, a couple of reasons as to why ARK thinks uh, is so optimistic on Tesla. And there's three big variables here. One of them is gross margins, capital efficiency and the adoption of autonomous driving if you guys recall on a previous video and i'll put it back up i'll put another one up here i was talking about autonomous driving and how society was accepting this and how a lot of people were really fearful of autonomous driving and they felt as if you know they 
being in control of a vehicle uh, makes them feel a lot better. You know, they don't feel safe in all autonomous driving. And I gave a bunch of statistics as to how much safer you actually are in a Tesla and how less likely you are to get in an accident as a result of the technology that t Tesla provides. You know, and so I think the, the acceptance here, what they're looking for is that more people are going to buy into this autonomous driving. And I think that's really going to change the world and change the way that we actually get around in the next few years to probably the next decade i would say by 2030 we're going to have it's going to be normal autonomous driving is just going to be normal a normal part of everyday life and uh that, i think I, I don't know i just think it's cool that we're going to be a part of that history for sure it's going to be awesome and to further drive down their bullish case here they're particularly bullish that they will achieve that tesla will achieve 40 percent margins and they are so far ahead of the competition uh that they will dominate uh and and will have an overwhelming market share it's expected that uh, electric vehicles or evs will take up about 30 percent or one third of the market share within the next five years uh, globally. Now, it doesn't just account for Tesla, but globally, 30% of all vehicles on the road will have, you know, elect, will be electric vehicles. So if you take that and, and, and they're expecting Tesla to have about 18% of that market uh, that would be a huge number and so when you're when you're talking about that i mean tesla the, and their technology and everything else they're so far ahead of everybody else at this point that gm and ford the big three they're trying to play catch up and it's going to take them a long time to get there all the while, Tesla is continuing to advance at a very rapid pace. And as Kathy Wood was coming out with this new projection, she was quoted as saying, the electric vehicle is going to drop below the price of a gas-powered vehicle like for like within the next 18 months to two years, then will continue to fall. So it's going to be a no-brainer. Electric cars are going to be cheaper and they're better cars and they're better calls. So obviously you can tell that, that, that Kathy Wood is very... Uh, bullish on Tesla. Uh, and those are the facts uh, based off of what they have provided with us today. So now that you have the facts, here comes my opinion. And I mostly agree with Kathy Wood. Uh, you know, I don't, and we didn't even get into the autonomous driving a, a whole lot in that piece, but I wanted to talk to you about autonomous driving and give you my opinion on how I think that's going to impact the market the most. Uh, and I think it's going to impact the market the most when it comes to the autonomous taxis, transportation as a service. I think it's going to be a thing. It's going to be one of the biggest buzzwords words, I think, going into the 2020s here. Uh, we're just scratching the surface of autonomous driving. And so if you could just call up a vehicle to come pick you up for whatever reason, you know, this could help out, you know, loved ones who can't drive this. Obviously, you know, if you're out partying too late and you need you need to ride home, you can call them up and you don't have to worry about companies like Uber or Lyft with you know, their business model, I don't think is going to last very long. I think Uber and Lyft are in a lot of trouble if automated driving gets more accepted and transportation as a service does start to become a thing. And I think Tesla is at the forefront of that as well. Now, as far as these price targets are concerned, I think they're a little bit out there. Uh, $7,000 in four years is an alarming rate uh, in which uh, Tesla can move. They're projected to sell about 500,000 vehicles this year alone. And so uh, to really get to that point, they're going to have to sell an alarming amount of vehicles. And I just don't know if the production is there or, you know, and you could see you could see just this past quarter that they were having trouble meeting demand. Um, and, you know, maybe if this Gigafactory in Shanghai really starts to take off and produce a large amount of vehicles and then the Gigafactory in Germany that they're planning to build also um, starts to produce more vehicles to meet demand. I think that maybe. Uh, that could be a possible number. I was predicting somewhere around four to five thousand within the next five years, and I think that maybe they reached that six to seven thousand dollar number in the next ten years. So by 2030, that would put a market cap on Tesla around a trillion dollars that would rival Amazon and Apple. So if you look at it from that perspective and everything else that Tesla has going on from their energy sector, as well as, you know, their AI and everything else that they have going, Tesla is not just a car company. And I think there's a lot of people that can't wrap their head around that. This is just a small part of what it is that they do. And so when you start to add all that up, it all starts to stack up. And so that is why Tesla is starting to become more and more valuable. This autonomous driving and the vehicles that they're producing is only just a fraction of what it is that Tesla is looking to accomplish. I've said this before, but I, I, there's no, no one sector that I would put them in other than the fact that maybe you 
you could just say that they are an infrastructure company because that's what they're going to be doing in the future. They're going to really be an integral part of our interest infrastructure from energy saving to vehicles, the way that we get around. They just got their hands in everything. And I think in my opinion that that is where it's headed and that's where the true value lies with Tesla. So if this is something that you're looking to invest in, obviously I think it's pretty clear that I think that it's pretty bullish and that even if you're buying it at $700 a share, I think that you're going to be in good shape. I obviously would be accumulating a position at this point. If you're looking to add to Tesla long term, I think it's a very good opportunity for someone who put, to put it in their long term investing portfolio. There's obviously really good opportunities from the day trading side, which if you're interested in learning how to do any of that, I have links down in the description below that uh, would help you learn how to day trade or invest in the stock market. So uh, please check those out. We have a great community uh, within the only chaos crew. So I uh, highly encourage you to check that out. And so now that I've given you the facts, my opinion, I now want to hear from you. So leave me some comments below. I want to hear your thoughts on this new updated price target from ARK Investment and Kathy Wood. What do you think? Do you think that she's on to something here? Are we done doubting Kathy Wood at this point? Because everything that she said uh, that is going to happen has so far. So, I mean, yeah, it's, it's it's we're in a world of what have you done for me lately? So, you know, if she ends up being incorrect on some of this stuff, of course, people are going to be lying in the shadows, just waiting, waiting to pounce on an opportunity to be like, I told you so Tesla is coming down and, and, and all that stuff. But, uh, you know, I just want to hear from you. What are your thoughts? Do you think that Tesla, do you think this is overblown? Do you think it's overvalued right now at the price that it's at, at $735? Uh, or do you think that this still has room to go? And do you think that that $7,000 price target by 2024 is actually reasonable? Let me know in the comments below. And again, like I said, I reply to all the comments. So I look forward to hearing from you guys uh, after this video goes up. So that's going to do it for me, guys. Again, if you liked this video, I certainly would appreciate a thumbs up. Or if you just like the fact that Tesla is just proving everybody wrong, uh, definitely give me a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more content such as this. So that's going to do it for me, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. As always, I will see you all before the bell and B Smith is out. I want you to be on my team for the World Series of Day Trading with an opportunity to win a $240,000 funded account. What does all that mean? Well, I'll give you the details in just a sec, but first hit that intro.